Hello and welcome back to Reign of Pain. We are still running off of the hype of winning on hard mode and going in today I uh, was looking at I finally broke down and I actually just went and looked up how to get the rest of the candles. It looks like we're only missing three of them at this point and knowing how to get them didn't make getting them any easier. So just to let people know the three things that we need to do, and if you're avoiding spoilers at this point, I mean, we're 31 episodes in. I don't know what the hell you're doing here. But if you are avoiding spoilers and this is the first episode you've seen, uh, just tune out for like the next, I don't know, 30 seconds. But the three things that we need to do are we have to win a light path on hard mode. We have to upgrade a candle or sorry, upgrade the spoon um, to a certain point, And then we'll get a candle from that. And then we actually just need to win five runs no matter what. I think there's a thing in here that even tells me how many one runs I've won so far. Yeah, so we only have to win one more run of any kind um, in order to get this. So whenever we win on the light path, we'll also get this. So we'll unlock two candles at the same time there. Um, and for anyone who's wondering, I'm probably not going to 100% this game, per se. Like, one of the parts of the 100% is that you have to go back and win on previous difficulties. I'm just not interested in going back to normal or medium mode, so... 100% is not really in the cards, so don't look forward to 100%. But, you know, we might get close. Um, And I will play this game until I, for the channel, I will continue to play this game until I don't want to anymore. So, uh, for now, it's still very enjoyable. I still look forward to playing it every day. So, for now, we're going to keep going. And today, as part of that, uh, I wanted to work on some achievements. So, we're going to do another uh, spoon run. And if you didn't know, each time you do the spoon... It actually gets worse each time. So previously it was a minus two to attack and defense. Now it's a minus three to attack and defense. So we're going to head into a run starting with the spoon and thank goodness there is items right here. We can fix our defense right away. Sometimes you don't start anywhere near items and it makes it really hard. Okay, so we're already in positive stats with the tiger stone now. Okay. And I want to get Oh, and a starting rock. Okay, okay. This is definitely a very possible run now. Um, give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So one thing I wanted to do is there is hotkeys that I've not been paying attention to this entire time. And the hotkey for your scroll or spell book is one and scrolls two. And I want to try and use those um, a little bit more often. And I also might press A and D to pass instead of trying to click. Because every once in a while, there's this gray zone right here where I sometimes click right here. And because the cards, so like whenever you scroll over, the card's big. And I'm expecting mentally to be clicking right here, but the card has gotten larger, so I click on the card instead. It's kind of like one of those things where like, um, I, I'm, I'm expecting the spot on the screen to be stationary when technically it's sort of not. There's a way we could have done this where we could have killed everything on the floor, I think. But we didn't. We're going to go to Volatile. I think we should be able to do this just fine. I'm going to hit this guy once. Pass a turn. And I think this is a good idea to go ahead and do this. Hey, thank goodness. If this was a bomb, we were probably dead. Which we might be dead anyways, actually. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Not too worried about that. Health into defense. Happily repair some health. Or sorry, repair some defense, that is. Um, Solidarity is pretty good at the start here. This guy would take forever to kill. We're just going to pass him. And, uh, Black Opal really gets me a lot of starting stuff. Unfortunately, I think we have to leave now. Yeah, we didn't manage to get any attack, so we can't really do anything on that floor. Souls on kill is fine. Kills our defense, but that's okay. Let's see. Freeze, I think, will be the best option here. And then we can blow up both of these bombs simultaneously. 
We didn't blow anyone else up at the same time, but that's okay. We got two cards over there and two cards over here, but more reward for these two cards. So we're going to take this chest and then um, I'm going to freeze both these guys so I don't take any more damage. And we get some speed finally, or some attack finally. Clarity on exit is going to be well worth it. And we'll leave. Oh, I could have gone to the reprieve. Oh, well. Uh, Wishful is here. That is definitely going to be worth it. I should be able to cross both these guys. Let's go ahead and re-roll these. Rainbow Socks is pretty good. We don't care about the fact that we're tanking our clarity a little bit, by the way. Seven damage, can't kill him. Don't think there's another reason to stay here, so we're going to go ahead and leave for Wishful. We can get rid of the Rainbow Socks, which increases our clarity. And we'll go ahead and lock in our clarity at that point. We need to remember that we have the shield. It'll block a single use of an explosion. Which means we might be able to get into a situation where, like, for example, we can bring us an explosion over to the scrounger. We'll have to strive for one damage. Sixty percent. Wow. Okay. I need to stop making these sixty percent calls. There we go. For the people who are wondering why I did that, uh, the alternative was to die. So. Mm, I like living. Ah, one soul away. How unfortunate. I should have checked first. Overwhelm, patience, and instability. We're going to go to patience. Patience is actually relatively easy early on. Um, So we have one, two, three, four, five, six to the left. And one, two, three, four, five to the right. And we have one, two, three, four monsters. I think we need to go right, not left, just because of the amount of damage. Oh, I actually have a decent amount of defense. We can go left. But I have no souls, so there's a good chance that I can't open these. Let's say the risk. So I can't open that one. Can't open that one. Famous last words on taking a risk, huh? Wow, I survived with one HP. Okay. A lot of times there's free stuff in patience. It was worth the try. 59%? Yeah, okay. Can't believe we just stealthed that. We're still dead. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it didn't matter that we stealthed it, but it was kind of cool that it happened. Health on dungeon exit is acceptable. I would love the poison dagger. Uh, man, we have won so many times with missing vessel that I just like don't want to do it. Not one, but like it's such a powerful, like a ridiculously powerful item. It's like the rock here. I don't think we can fight that guy. Yeah, the minus one defense is screwing us. Okay, we leave. I value my life. I'm not going to just throw it away. Uh, I can't take that. Minus three defense would be uh, pretty hard to mitigate at this point. That helps a lot, actually. That was unfortunate. Not much I could have done to predict that. One, two. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I don't... Seven, actually, because of my item as well. Does seven damage to me. I really want those stats, but... Okay, we'll leave. 
Man, Rock just isn't as useful in hard mode. Everything has slightly more HP. In fact, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and use it and take the stone skin. Jerk shot something at me. Gonna heal up here too. And we'll come over here and beat up this guy. Do one damage! Or use it to pass. Yeah, we can't even kill a fucking range guy. Yeah. Defense be damned. We need we need offense like very early if we're gonna do these kinds of runs. Doesn't matter if we can survive if we can't kill literally anything. I'm gonna roll that guy away. Okay, we can get another item. I know it's a white, but like we need damage of something. That's hilarious. Striker's Veil and the Spoon? No, I'm not that stupid. Um, That's okay. That is at least some level of damage that we have now. Raiden Ned's it. That's fine. Go ahead and leave. So because of the fact that we've beaten hard mode uh, dark path, we will probably be taking the light path basically until we beat the light path at this point, I think. Wow, we actually managed to kill something. Uh, we can't kill him. I want him to move away. There we go. Okay, so there was a chance that I parried this twice, and then I could have killed... Actually, I wouldn't even have killed him. We want him to move farther away. There we go. Uh, I don't want any of these. I guess I'll take the fence. Well, that was a good find. Bear trap really helps out here. And in that situation, I'll just take more defense and then crossroads. Okay, let's see. Position to strike, wishful, companions. I mean, we can put two things in the wishful. It just doesn't really help us to do so. We can put three things in the wishful. We could put the jar in there if we wanted to, but there's no benefit to putting the jar in there. Fifty-two percent. Runs like these, we definitely need some clarity, I feel like. Okay, so we have three monsters into a potion to the left, and then we have one, two, three monsters into a potion to the right. We'll go right. Bunch of attack. That actually helps a ton. I think we're dead? Because we can't go to ambush, and if we go farther to the right, this guy's revealed himself as a ranged enemy. And we have two HP, which generally it takes two HP to even get to them. So because we're basically dead anyways, we're going to roll and see what happens. Ah, uh, yeah, we are dead now. Okay. If I passed him, it was going to be like a 10% parry. If I, if I just fought him, it was going to... Yeah. It didn't matter, is basically what I'm saying. Ah, some attack damage from the get go. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. We want to go right. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Keep getting... Keep getting murdered by these, um... 
surprise fire hives. So I think I'm actually going to take re reveal all cards. Just because with the spoon, like, I think it's actually a pretty significant advantage. Uh, I, I'd love the extra potion, but I can't have negative defense. So we got a bomb coming. See? Fire hive to the left. If I had tried to go left, that would have been just bad. But we can go right here. Take a little bit less damage. One, two, three, four, five. This would be six. So we'll take Catalyst. Get some more defense. Kill our first creature on the entire floor that we've killed so far. And if I had taken Barrier, that wouldn't have been better. That's okay. I'm going to take the Stealth here. Use it right away and head to the right here. Can't take either one of those. Could take that, though. I don't think we can kill this guy. Just need a little bit more souls. For one, sure. Yeah, look, this, look at this. They start me next to a fire hive and a bunch of bombs. Like, just rude. I'm gonna go ahead and stealth to the left here. Blow up all of those guys. Go ahead and stealth here. Pick up the slippers. Scare him away for a moment so I can look around. I don't know why I looked around. I have a freaking see all things. Some more damage because we need it. And more defense. These guys have a bunch of defense, right? Yeah, they're three, so not much we can do about them. We're not quite at the 13 speed of going first yet. Two bombs to the left. We still have 100% stealth. Well, we're out now. Taking a bunch of damage. Oh yeah, I don't have enough. Oops. That was unnecessary damage to take. Now I have enough. My brain was one step ahead there, and that actually might have screwed me. That's freeze if you score fewer. Ritual garments. I was just like, I don't think there's a way I survive here. Free lucky stealth. Always appreciate that. Soul spill, some damage. If I attack him four times, he kills me. We're going to take the potion and leave. And by leave, I meant leave that area, not leave, leave. I'm going to come over here and get this item. I guess we'll have some speed now. There's that, I guess. Oh, hey, we got a bunch of defense because we have two frozen items. We could probably do a frozen build. It's been a little while. Uh... I'll take that. T 
Intimidate poison creatures. Okay, that's a good start. And we got some damage. I want you to kill this dog over here. Thank you. And we can kill this guy. A little bit of work. I don't think I want Shadow Step, so we'll go ahead and take the Core Path. There are times when the Core Path is important because, like, you can get Finders Keepers and stuff like that. So. I think Finders Keepers is at specific moments, though. Lucky Shoes helps a tiny bit. Are we faster? No, we're not. At, we're not at the right speed amount yet. Faster than that guy, but that doesn't help us. Bunch of potions over here. Scare that guy away from the entrance so I can think for a moment. Soul spill would do not enough damage to kill anything. This is volatile. I think we'll go with volatile. We have enough to survive one fire hive blowing up on us, so. some lucky parries there. Uh, I need just a little bit more. I think we're going to take this bear trap so we can get the more that we need. Anything here... I would do three damage to him. Oh, I, I intimidate him. Man, I almost forgot that I had that. He goes first. But I'm okay with taking the damage. Because that gets us up to 40. And we can get another item to struggle our way out of this. First damage heals. It's actually not a bad thing for us to take. Just because we have such low curse resistance. That we can guarantee that curse potion seal us now. We're going to go ahead and heal here. Yeah, we can just... We can just always take these now. And it's not going to last forever, but, like... It means that we... We have a 100% chance of getting a positive outcome. Ah, uh, that sucked. No way to know. Uh, I'm going to take Crystalline just because I want the splash damage. Or I want the defense, that is. And then we'll bear trap that guy, who even on hard mode dies to a single bear trap. Take the damage and the healing. And this heals us either way. A key. And we're doing okay now. Patience, happily. We'll use the key if there's a 75 or higher chest. Speaking of, so we're going to the left now. Soup! We kill this guy. Go once. He goes first, so might as well pass him. End of dog. Potion. Hey, guess what? I did it right, guys. Um, first time for fucking anything, right? Man, I've been playing this game for... Hold on. I've been playing this game for... 26 hours, and that is the first time that I have ever done patience correctly, even though people have been yelling at me to do it correctly for, I don't know, a month, something like that. We got the error in the end, okay? I would admit, though, I actually have known how to do patience correctly for a little bit, and the only reason we didn't do it correctly last time, like out of the games that I played this this just last time, is honestly because I looked at something and I thought it was curse damage, because I just... I, I was like mentally reading it very quickly and my brain went oh that's curse damage we can't take that but apparently it was a free upgrade but i only missed one upgrade in a run that i won so i think i did pretty well we're never gonna have jars so i'm just not even gonna bother taking that because we're gonna keep the soup because this heals us 20 on dungeon exit it gives us so much room to to really like play around with 
20 on dungeon that's it is kind of amazing like I even feel like I can blow up this bomb for the souls well we're gonna have to take one of these guys either way might as well take this one and we go to pull it's insane like almost makes it good now uh i have 11 attack i want to get the 13 speed next so we can outspeed some of the more nasty guys like this guy for example I should have walked away once first. Oops. Uh, this is a little annoying. I think going right is going to be better. First heal? Yes. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? A shell back? Well, we have the chance going left. Yeah. Freaking loom birds, dude. Freaking loom birds. Go ahead and take barrier here. Let that guy explode. Scale top. Barrier. Kill this. So that I can take out those things. I did that incorrectly. I only blocked one damage. We even had the bowl of soup, guys. We had the bowl of soup. Oh, well. Moving on. Never look backwards, only forwards. Ooh, the spacing here. Yep. Yeah, I was about to say, that. I think that just kills me with that spacing. It forces me to take hits. It really does. Hit me? Yeah. I don't think I can kill them, though, because I don't have enough damage. I do this, though. Give me, gets me the souls. And then we leave. This will be my last try, unfortunately. Looks like we're running a little late on the clock at 27. But um, you can't say I didn't try with the spoon. Spoon on hard mode is kind of crazy, though. Some more damage here. That'll help a lot. Let's go ahead. I'll just leave those guys for a moment, to be honest. Poison to target. Also helps a lot. Poison doesn't break him out of freeze, right? That's pretty funny. Some more defense and some more attack. Kill that guy for the souls. Kill that guy. Use this on the restless triad. Hit him once for the recharge. And is there anything else? Yeah, we can get this guy as well. Heal up. And we can take a little bit of damage there. Beautiful. And we'll head to reprieve. Very good floor two. Um, 51% chance. I'm okay with it. Only, I was only reason I was okay with it because there was some attack in there. Okay. We have attack again, so we just need defense now. We have pretty much mitigated. Uh, I'm not wrong. Pretty much mitigated the mask. Or sorry, the, um, spoon. Kill the restless triad here. And speed when given those options. Oh, hey, free dodge. Nice. We're going to take another white item. I know that they're kind of useless early on, but like we kind of just really need something at this point. Uh, that's going to be pretty good for us. Some explosive shield. And we got a bunch of healing, so we're going to go ahead and 
uh, blow up that guy, and then let's see, we have one, one item, two items we can go to wish list or wishful. I was going to go to it either way, but I like checking what I have beforehand. Because if there's only one item and there's another exit, which in our case was Crossroads, there's a chance that Wishful is not the right answer sometimes. Uh, mushrooms would have been good. And Rage would have been good. Oh yeah, we have a Chugging Mask. So the potion was actually pretty good too. Kill that guy first. And then we can get this guy to explode on him too. No, he'll walk away. That's right. Get a little bit more damage. And if we're going to lose everything, I'm going to lose it all for damage because that fits as our damage for the time being. Now we just need light speed and defense. I don't think I'm going to take any more white items, if possible. Guys, worth how much? Five? Yeah. Not worth it for the soul spell. I could have poisoned him, but poison for five isn't also. Also, super isn't worth it. Here's my idea. I'm going to do that, and then... Oh, he dies too fast. Oh, uh, I had the explosive shield. Hate to waste it, though. Okay, well, we're really good on defense now. I sort of had to do that or else I think he would have killed me because he went first. I hate the waste, but like... Attacks that ignore defense. Do I go faster than any of these guys, though? It's about going faster. It doesn't really matter too much if my attacks ignore defense. I want this guy. There we go. Beautiful. And then I'm going to come over here and poison this guy. Finish this guy off. No bombs, really. I don't know why that surprises me so much, but it does. It fits my clarity a little bit. Please don't be a curse potion. Thank goodness. If that was a curse potion, we would have been dead. I say that that way because we might be dead anyways. Um... We'll take the parrying blocks incoming poison just because out of those options it was the best thing we could do oh thank goodness a potion we got something at least and this is like extra from potions right yeah embracing chaos Man, you don't see that very often. Oh, fuck. Mm. He does four damage? God, roaming poison beads so do so much damage on hard difficulty. Yeah. See, it doesn't seem like we're dead, but we are. Because I have a 6% chance of dodging this, and if I move away, yeah. Well, this has been Reign of Pain, and I've been Arima. Spoon still sucks. Uh, and, but, uh, yeah. Um, this has been kind of just a bit of a masochism episode. Uh, you can't win every time. In fact, I think I've only... I've played, like, 30 runs, and I've won four times. So, like, kind of have to go in with a certain expectation of just, like, let's see how well we can do. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episodes anyways. I hope you have a good day and goodbye. Goodbye.